Hey everybody! Today we are going to do something a little bit different, but um, over the past, well, year um, of not doing YouTube videos, I have had a lot of products that I've tried and that I've loved and that I haven't loved. Um, so generally I'm going to start doing these uh, like, sh like rapid five product reviews. So like rapid fire five product reviews. Um, I don't know, sometimes like I really like the full face first impression, so it's kind of similar to that but not actually like seeing me put them on. So these are products that I have used a couple times, maybe around five to ten times, and that I never was able to do a review for you uh, of these products, but this video I can review them very quickly, you can get like a good general idea of whether I like these products or not. I might start doing that, let me know if you might like these, if not I can go back to like the one video devoted to one product review, um, that's totally fine too, but I thought I could just try this format out, see how it goes, see how you guys like it, because maybe you guys want less, like, not as long videos, uh, shorter, shorter videos, so I'm just going to start with some general products, I have a foundation, a setting powder, a primer, um, a setting spray, and this little tool, which is really cool, you can see I've used it quite a lot, it's pretty messy. This is a little, um, like, I don't know what you would call it, like a little palette. I don't know what the name of it is, um, but I'm sure I can link it, find the link for it, and like link it in the description. But this is basically something that you use if you uh, mix foundations. I personally use the NYX uh, Pro Foundation Mixer for foundations that are too dark for me, and I can lighten them to my actual skin tone, which is really, really helpful. Um, but this really makes it easy to mix them. Like, you know, you see people on YouTube talk about, you know, the plastic inserts that come with eyeshadow palettes, using plates, using paint palettes, things like that to mix their foundation, or even like, I've used, um, what's it called, like the little clipboards, I've used that before, like the material just to like scrape foundation on. Uh, as a matter of fact, I do have an example here. This is something that I used to do, um, and it's so messy, and I'm really silly for doing it, but I used to mix foundations in the back of my IT Cosmetics foundation powder. So, you know, this kind of a tool... I'm recording! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Um... Thanks a lot. Um, anyway, this kind of a tool really, really helps. It keeps things clean. It comes with its own little, like, wrap here that you can kind of keep it so the foundation doesn't get anywhere and if you're not lazy like I am, I mean I'm sure you would probably wipe this off at each time. I don't really do that because I'm lazy. Um, I probably should though for like bacteria reasons. But yeah, it's really cool. It comes with this like little scraper tool like that and then you just pour the foundation on, you mix it and then you can just put it onto your face. It's really quick, it's really really efficient, like it really helps keep the mess down and I feel like you can get a better mix with this because this is like the perfect tool to really scrape it off and like spread it out again. Um, yeah, it's really really cool and then it has like a little thumb thing like this so you can hold it like a paint palette and like go oh, hoo hoo hoo, you know, it's really really cool. Alright. Um, the next thing is an e.l.f. primer that I am using right now. It is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. I lost the lid somewhere. But it looks like this. Um, this is really fantastic. At first, I was really skeptical about this primer because I have combination skin. Oily, but dry. So usually with hydrating primers, they can make my skin oily. This hasn't done that, and it actually keeps the oil at bay really, really nicely. Like, I've been wearing this makeup for a couple hours now, and I don't even look, like, slightly oily at all, or shiny. So this is really, 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 really great. Um, and it's hydrating. Like, I've definitely noticed a difference in my skin. Uh, this makes foundation apply so smoothly. Um, and you don't need a lot of this. Like, you might need literally, like, like that much of it. It looks gross. But really, it's like a nice silicone-y um, feeling, but not too slippery, but definitely hydrating. It fills your pores nicely, um, the foundation layers nice on top of it, and I've noticed with my acne, because sometimes when you wear makeup over acne, your acne can get really dry and really irritated, and I've noticed that that has not happened with this, and this hasn't broken me out at all. Um, so yeah, this is definitely, definitely, like, highly recommended for me. I really, really enjoy this. And it's super cheap. It's like... 
don't know, I got this off of Holler, I think. So it was super, super cheap. But I really recommend that. Next is a foundation. Um, it is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Looks like that. I tried the Matte and Poreless and I hated it. Hated it. I think I have a review for it on this channel somewhere. Um, if I do, I can link it in the description. But I hated it. It just made my skin look so dry. It made my pores look worse. It held on to like every bit of texture on my skin. It was awful. Um, so I was really skeptical once again about this foundation. Um, but I watched some reviews on YouTube of people who I watch with similar skin as mine, like uh, Thrift Thick and um, who else did this? Oh, uh, that's that Taylor did this one. And I was like, I really need to try that, you know, like, I really need to try this foundation. So I did, and I can honestly say to you, of the last year, this is the foundation I've used the most. I love it. The only downside is that it does um, oxidize a little bit, and I do find that I have to lighten it just so that when it oxidizes, it does match me. Um, by the way, I'm in the shade Porcelain. Um, and the only other downside is that it's one of these, like, glass ones. It doesn't have a pump or, like, a scoop or anything. Um, but other than that, like, this foundation is amazing. It's nicely priced. It is beautiful. It applies beautifully. Like, I have some photos on Instagram where it's really close up of my face that I took with this camera. Um, and my skin looks, like, absolutely flawless. It looks like I'm not wearing any foundation, but my skin looks beautiful. So... I really highly recommend this for anybody that has combination skin that finds that their skin really needs um, really needs some nice moisture but without looking oily or greasy because this this helps with my oils really well too so because usually sometimes hydrating foundations like dewy foundations can make your skin look so oily especially if you have oily skin this one does not do that this one keeps the oils at bay and it keeps your skin looking really great throughout the day Next is, um, similar to that, is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This thing, I have mine in the shade Fairlight. This thing is my favorite setting powder I have ever used. And I'm a really big fan of the, um, of the, uh, RCMA White Powder. I'm a huge fan of the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Powder. Uh, Cody Air Spun, like, these are huge ones that I am absolutely in love with. I'm experimenting with the Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to be doing a first impression video on that soon. Um, but like out of every powder I've ever tried, this is my favorite. It is so finely milled and this has such a nice silky soft texture. It just blends into your skin so nicely. It has a little bit of pigment to it so like it helps with coverage a little bit. Not too much, like it doesn't look cakey, nothing like that. It is just absolutely stunning. It really, really is. And something that I love about this packaging is that it's one that you like screw open and close. And sometimes with setting powders, it can get like this weird like scratchy feeling, like almost like chalk. And it makes me like, it feels like nails on a chalkboard. I hate it. Um, I think Cody Airspun is kind of like that. But this doesn't do it for whatever reason. I don't know if the powder is just so soft, it doesn't do that. But this powder, I highly recommend. Um, if I had to recommend, like, the foundation or the powder, I mean, I would recommend them together. These two together are awesome. Um, but if I had to tell you to get one of these things, I would tell you to get the powder. It's really, really great. And then, finally, we have a setting spray. So this is Hard Candy's Long Wear Sheer Envy. Um, this helps with resisting fade. Uh, it's a humidity protection, and it's 12-hour long wear and hydration. So it looks like this. Now, I picked this up at Walmart for like $5. Hard Candy has a bunch of setting sprays. They have Luminating. They have um, Long Lasting, Mattifying, Dewy. Then they have this long wear one, and I picked up the long wear. Um, as a setting spray, it's great. I love this as a setting spray. It really does make my makeup last longer. It does help with hydration. Again, like if you really put some powder on and you're like, oh, that's too much powder, this definitely helps put moisture back into your skin. Um, it makes your skin look really natural. It's a really great setting spray. However, 
I can say like sometimes I'll use setting sprays to wet a uh, uh, metallic eyeshadow like this one for example and this burns my eyes. Do not use this for eyeshadow. No, no way. It burns the heck out of my eyes and it's just not a good combo with the eyes. I don't know what's in it, if it's alcohol or what it is. Um, they don't really have ingredients on it actually. It might be online if I could find it. Um, but I can say honestly that if you're just using it for your skin, your face makeup, this is really, really great. Um, super cheap. I've not used their other ones. This lasts a really long time. And the mister is really nice. It's a really nice mist. Um, it does have a smell. It kind of smells like cucumber. Just cucumber and watermelon, but not like in a good way. It's kind of like an artificial smell that smells like perfume, but like not a good one. So yeah, that was a really, really quick rapid fire five product review. Let me know. Do you like this kind of format? Would you like to see this in the future? You know, maybe once a month I can do like five products that I want to quickly review that I've used that month. Um, or if you would like the, de uh, the um, specific like designated videos for each product, for first impressions, for testing, all that stuff, let me know and I can continue doing that. I'm still going to do that, but like these are products that I can really quickly talk about. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, it's different. I hope you guys are liking the new videos because I really hope you are. Anyway, forgive the mess in the back. Oh my god, look at the huge mess in the back. Look at that drawer. Look at up there. Look at the hangers over there. My bed's a mess. But thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video.